Hi winners, this is Dr. Srikanth from Team MDS Conquer. Now I'll be talking about the advantages of fluoride reacting with dental structures. So most of the dental structures, they contain a molecule which is called as hydroxyapatite. When this hydroxyapatite reacts with the fluoride, it forms two molecules. One is fluorohydroxyapatite and fluorapatite. When you compare the critical pH of these two, I hope you know what is the meaning of critical pH. Critical pH is a pH around which demineralization and remineralization takes place. Whenever the critical pH is below this 5.2 to 5.5, there will be demineralization. Whenever it is above, it will be remineralized. I hope you know this concept. So when you compare the critical pH of normal teeth, it is 5.2 to 5.5, whereas fluorapatite or hydroxyfluorapatite, it is 4.2 to 4.5, which clearly gives a meaning that more acid is required for dissolution of a teeth when it reacts with the fluoride. So it is more acid resistance when compared with the normal teeth and it is more in size you can see there is an increasing in size here when you compare with the normal teeth there will be increasing in size and there will be decreasing in the critical pH so taking these advantages into consideration okay fluorohydroxyapatite or fluorapatite requires more acid to dissolution are increasing in size and all these are advantages which make tough for the bacteria to dissolve or tough for the acid to dissolve Okay, I'm done with this particular concept. Signing off, Dr. Srikanth from Team MDS Conquer. Take care.